Now here let us see exercise 12.1. First number question. Get the algebraic expressions in following cases using variables, constants and arithmetic operations. The arithmetic operations are given. Variables are there. Constants are there. You have to find out what algebraic expressions. Here statement is given. Here we say first. Subtraction of z from y. We have to find out the algebraic expression. So how to find out algebraic expression of this statement? Subtraction of z from y. From what we have to subtract from y? We have to subtract so right down y first. What we have to do? Subtraction. So minus sign. What we have to subtract? Z we have to subtract. So y minus z. So here y minus z is the algebraic expression for this statement. Subtraction of z from y. So y minus z. Next, one half of the sum of numbers x and y. So we have to do one half. Means 1 divided by 2 will be 1 half of the sum of numbers x and y. So first we need sum of numbers x and y. So sum of x and y will be x plus y. x plus y. Now x plus y is we want 1 half. 1 half that means we have to multiply with by 1 by 2. So 1 plus Then the variable that is m. So last answer will be 3 mn plus 
five. The first one, identify the terms and their factors in the following expressions. Show the terms and factors by three diagrams. Here we have to draw a three pillar, sorry, three diagram, and in that we have to show the terms and their factors. First expression is 5x y squared plus 7x squared y. So first of all, we will write down the expression. So expression, write down expression, and in front of that, write down the expression that is 5x y squared plus 7x squared y. Next step, we will write down the terms. So write down the terms. terms. After that. Here, how many terms? One and two terms are there. So here, make two arrows. Here, first one five x y square. Five x y square. Second term is seven x square y. Seven x square y. Now. Next step will be we need factors also. So factors of each term we will write down. So factor of first term five x y square. Factor we will write down. How many factors? One, two, three, and four will be there. So one, two, three, four. Okay. So first five. Next is x. Y square. That means y will be two times. Y and y. Okay. Next for seven x square y. First will be seven. Next is x. X square. That means x multiplied by x. So another x. After that last is y. So these are the factors. That is five x y y or five x y square. Now seven x square y. The factors are seven x x y. Next minus a b plus two b square minus three a square. So what we have done for this one same we will do for this also first write down the expression. So minus a b plus two b square minus three a square. How many terms are there? One, two, three. So here terms we will write down. Next step. So here first is minus a b. After that second is two b square, and third will be minus three a square. Now factors of minus a b. First factor you can see minus is there. Only minus is there. We have not said if it is minus x. That means in fact these factors are minus one. Minus x can be written as minus one multiplied by x. So factors of minus x will be minus one and x. So here it is minus a b. So factors of minus a b will be first will be minus. So minus it is what nothing but minus one. So first factor will be minus one. Next is a, and the third one is b. So minus a b factors are minus one a and b. For two b square, two b square means b multiplied by b. So b and again b. Now here also minus three a square is there. Minus is there. That means minus one. Sorry, the minus three is there. Eight minus three is there. So what we have to write down? Minus three will be there. If only minus is there, then only minus one will be there. So here minus three. Next is a and a. So minus three a square factors are minus three a and a. This way you have to draw the three diagram. Number three. Identify the numerical coefficients of terms other than constants in the following expressions. Expressions are given to you, and in this, this expression, you have to find out the numerical coefficients of terms. You have to find out the terms 
but condition is that other than constant that terms which you are finding out that they should not be constant other other another thing is that that numerical coefficients you have to find out now here some selected expressions i have taken four expressions i have taken whatever expressions are given to you then all you have to write down over here after that as the answer you have to make a table for all the all the given expression so a table will be uh, first will be expression after that second thing you have to write down the terms what condition other than constant terms we need and then Last thing what we need that is numerical coefficients. We can write down only coefficients also. So here our table is ready. So in the first column we will write down all the expressions. So first five minus three t square. Now for first we will find out. What is the term? Terms other than constant. Two terms are there. Five and minus three t square. So if other than constant, then means which are having variables over here. So we are variables is with this. That this t is the variable. So with t, this term is there. Minus three t square. Minus three t square. Now we have to find out the coefficient. So coefficient will be minus three. You will get the solution. Let me show you. We have to write down the number from that variable. So minus three. This is where we are not writing. We need only coefficients. So next, fourth one, hundred n plus thousand n. Now here terms other than constant. Here you can see hundred n, thousand n. That means both are any variable. Here n is there and here n is there. Both the terms we have to write down. So first hundred n, and below it we will write down thousand n. Now coefficient for hundred n, which is the coefficient? This number you can see hundred to hundred is the coefficient. Here thousand, so thousand is the coefficient of thousand n. Next, one point two a. Plus zero point eight b. Here also you can see here also a is there, here also b is there. So both the terms we have to take. So in the terms column we write down one point two a, and the another term is zero point eight b. Zero point eight b. Now here the coefficient of one point two a is one point two. And of zero point eight it is zero point eight. We are draw lines so that we can separate them. Now here it is two l plus b. Now here you can see it is in the bracket. So two k is to be multiplied with both both l and b. So this can be written as two l plus two b. So here you can see we are getting two different terms, and both are having the variables here l and here b. So two l will be the first term, the second term two b. Now coefficient here for two l, two is the coefficient for two b. So it is very simple to find out the terms and the coefficients. Here, which terms we have to find out? The terms which are other than constant means the verb which are having variables. That terms we have to write down in this column, and the in the last column we have to write down the coefficient. Question number four B. Identify terms which contain y square and give the coefficient of y square. Here. Expressions are given to you. Three expressions are given to you. In that, we have to find out the terms, but which contain y square. We have to find out the term, but the condition is there that they should have y square. And another thing is that y square, which term we have to find out, that term.
terms coefficient we have to find out. So first of all draw a table. First we will write down the expression. Next term with factor y square and last coefficient of y square. We will start from the first one 8 minus x y square. 8 minus x y square. So here we need only term with factor y square. Term with factor y square. Here you can see y square over here. So this term we will write down. So it will be minus x y square. Now coefficient of y square. So y square we are not going to write. Right? Other than y square the things we will write down. So other than y square only minus x you can see. So here the coefficient will be minus x. Next, 5y square plus 7x. So here, the term with factor y square. Here you can see two factors, uh, two terms are there. Here y square is there, here y square is not there. So this we are not going to write. But here y square is there. So 5y square will write down over here. Now for the coefficient, y square we don't have to write down other than y square. So 5 will be the coefficient of 5y square. Third one is 2x square y minus 15x square xy square plus 7y square. Now here you can see here x square y is there. We need the term which is having only factor y square. So this we are not going to write because only y is there. Next, minus 15 x y square. Here y square is there. So we will write down minus 15 x y square. Next, 7 y square. Here also y square is there. So this we will write down below this term. So 7 y square. Now let us find out the coefficient of y square of each term. So here y square we will not write so remaining this portion we will write down minus 15x so minus 15x here only 7 is there 7 y square 7 we don't have to write only the remaining part we will write down that is only 7 so we will have 7 so this way you have to draw a table and write down the answers question number 5 classify into monomials, binomials and trinomials here the expressions are given and we have to find out the monomials, binomials and trinomials. So first you should know what is monomial. For monomial, the number of terms should be 1. Only if one term is there in the expression, then it is monomial. If there are two terms in the expression, then it is binomial. And if three terms are there, then it is a trinomial. So let us see first one. 4y minus 7 z. How many terms are there? 4y is first term. Minus 7 z is the second term. Then it is two terms are there. If two terms are there, then what it is? It is binomial. Next is y square. y square is what? Only one term is there. So it is monomial. And minus xy is the third term. So three different terms are there. So it is trinomial. Here only 100 is there. 100 is what? A one term only means it is constant and it is one term. So it is what? It is a monomial. Here next one 4p square q minus 4p q square. Here you can see here p square is there and here only p is there. That means both are unlike terms. So these two terms will be two different different terms. So one and two terms are there. So it will be binomial. Now question number 6. State whether the given pair of terms is of like or unlike terms. Pairs are given 
happened to you and you have to find out whether they are like or unlike. If they will be, when they will be like, if their terms are of having same factors. If they are having different factors, then they will be unlike terms. Here you can see, 1 and 100. 1 and 100. What they are? Both are constant. So they are like terms. Next, minus 7x, 5 by 2, x. Here you can see what, here also x is there, here also x is there. That means that coefficient means center is the same. So they are also like terms. Next, minus 29x and minus 29y. Here x is there and here y is there. Two different, different Variables are there or two different different factors are there. Here you can see minus 29 and minus 29. Both are same. But with minus 29, here x is there and here y is there. These two different terms are there over here. So this is unlike term. If one thing also different you can see in both the terms, then it will be unlike term. Now for m square p m 4 m p square. Here you can see m square is there and here only m is there. That means both are different. So this will be also unlike. 